William Nylander is back with a six-year contract with an annual average value of $6.9 million per season. I'm a little surprised he didn't go with a bridge, but this to me is a very good deal for both parties. I've said all along that I think Nylander is worth $7 million a season. A lot of so-called Leafs fans have really turned on Willie and blamed him for this holdout without realizing the context and situation of the matter. It's actually quite embarrassing how many negative comments Willie has received, but these are all bandwagoner fans and in a few weeks when Willie is putting up the points and making sick plays again, y'all will kiss and make up and love him again. Fickle fans. I won't get into it more as I did in my previous video, but I would like to suggest why Nylander's $6.9 million per year contract is worth it, and not only worth it, but a great deal for the Leafs in the long haul. A lot of comparables have been made, Pasternak, Ehlers, Drysaddle, etc. What many people haven't suggested yet, so I will be the first to do, is Nicholas Backstrom. That's right. People complain that Willie has only put up 61 points in his first two seasons and scored only 20 goals. Well, Backstrom has only scored over 23 goals once in his career when he hit 33 back in 09-10. He too is a 20-20. 23 goal scorer over his career, and Nylander has already put up 22 and 20 goal campaigns. Backstrom centered arguably the greatest winger and goal scorer of all time in Alex Ovechkin, and one could argue whether or not Ovi would have been able to score as many as he did if not for Backstrom assisting on a large chunk of them. In the same way, Matthews is to Nylander what Ovechkin is to Backstrom. Yes, it's still early in Matthews' career, but so far in the games that he's played, nobody in the NHL has scored more goals than Matthews per game. So you could argue Matthews is this generation's Ovechkin, although Liney would be a more appropriate comparison. Matthews also has a higher shooting percentage than Ovi at 17% for his career, and Ovi at 12.5%. In fact, in both Matthews' first and second season, he's posted a higher shooting percentage than Ovi has in any of his seasons over his entire career. Yes, the positions are flipped, Backstrom is a center, Ovi a winger, but Matthews is a shooting center and Nylander is a passing winger. He's also a natural center as well, which is why he's so good at passing and why he has such great on-ice vision. So they complement each other perfectly. Nylander is only getting better and in 6 years from now when you look back, his 6.9 salary will look like a steal of a deal. I'm not saying he'll put up 90 to 100 points a season, but Nylander should land somewhere between 70 to 80 points a year. That's exactly where Backstrom is each year, 70 to 80 points. Backstrom's contract is at 6.7 million per season. So to me, that is a fair comparable, and Nylander should benefit tremendously with Matthews just as Backstrom has benefited from Ovechkin. They are a perfect complement. So Leafs fans, stop hating on Willie. He's going to be here for a long time. We are not going to trade him for a D-man. Of course, everyone is tradable, if the right offer comes along, but the plan is the plan. Nylander is here to stay and he's well worth the contract and more. Welcome home, Lily. Let me know what you think about the signing. Did the Leafs make a mistake? Is Nylander worth it? Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and until next time.